So we're going to take our mitragynine that we got from our chromatography video. This has been sitting out for a couple days, so some of it's already oxidized. We're going to take some of this aquarium tubing and stick it down in there. This is Rose Bengal. It's an oxidation catalyst that produces singlet oxygen. So we're going to add a little bit of that. Stir it up. You can see the solution turns pink. We're going to connect those tubes to our oxygen tank. And we're going to make sure that the area between the beaker and the Erlenmeyer flask is sealed with water. And we're going to push all the air out and fill this area with pure oxygen. After a couple hours of being in the ice bath under pure oxygen with the Rose Bengal catalyst, we're going to remove the beaker. We're going to pull this aquarium tubing out. And we're going to quench the rest of the catalyst using a solution of citric acid. This is what happens when you put Rose Bengal in citric acid. It disappears. So we're going to add that to our Erlenmeyer flask. And you'll see that this pink color goes away. It stops the oxidation process. So we're going to pour that back into our beaker. And we're going to stir this up a little bit and just let it sit. That way any of the peroxides that have formed will just become hydroxyl groups. And then we're going to pour that back into our chromatography column. And you can see as the eluent travels through the chromatography column over time, two different compounds are eluted, 7-hydroxymetragenine first and unoxidized remaining metragenine last, which can be recycled back through the process.